this is my first speech. I would like to give a brief introduction about myself and the various challenges that I faced which helped me to evolve. My name is Ananya Bhattacharya. I was born in the city of joy, that is Kolkata. I spent the initial years of my life in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. But then one fine day, my parents got too patriotic. And as you might have guessed, we came back to India. Now, well, I'm not sad that I came back to India, but the next step that it took made me even more sad. They enrolled me in a boys' school, <laughs> where I spent 13 years of my life. Now, boys' school was an experience which can't be expressed in a few words. But the only drawback of the boys' school, which I realized once I graduated, was the only females which I were comfortable to speak were my mother and my teachers. <laughs> so, as you all might have seen in my previous few speeches, I suffer from this stammering problem. Well, this problem was more aggravated in my childhood. I was ridiculed and mocked by my friends. I was known by various aliases which mocked at his disability. Gradually, I became fearful to speak. So my shy and nervous character is quite attributed to this problem. My teachers realized this problem and helped me to overcome this. To begin with, my teachers used to appreciate me the times when I used to participate in class discussions. They encouraged me to participate in speeches, debates, morning assemblies and what not. In fact, I remember my English teacher who used to give me daily reading assignments in front of the mirror. I'm really grateful to my teachers who understood me and helped me overcome this problem. So coming back to my school life, I lived a very monotonous life till class 10. I used to wake up in the morning, go to the school, come back from the school, play cricket, come back to home, watch cartoon and then sleep. And this cycle went on and on until before the examinations. So we all know in class till we, uh, we face this dilemma whether to choose science, commerce or arts. But I had some other kind of dilemma. I had to choose whether I should go for CBSE coaching or IITJ coaching. <laughs> but, due to peer, but due to peer pressure, I joined this brilliant institution which goes by the name Forum for IITJ. <laughs> better known as Fiji. <laughs> For me, that F didn't stand for forum. It stood for forget. Forget about IITJ. So, so one of our maths teachers there used to motivate us, uh, motivate us by telling this anecdote. So this anecdote basically revolves around the conversation between my mother and this neighbor who also happens to be the mother of this infamous Sharma Ji Ka Beta. So here's the conversation. Hi, Mrs. Bhattacharya. <laughs> <laughs> Your son gave IITJ this year. Did he make it one of the IITs? No, Mrs. Sharma. My son couldn't get into any of the IITs. Your son used to study in Fitchi, right? And I've heard that Fitchi is a great institution. It produces IITians. <laughs> Don't worry. There are always one or two exceptions to the count of Fitchi. That is... Fitchins today, IITs tomorrow. <laughs> Don't worry. So this anecdote used to end when Mr. Sharma finally went out of the house and balance used to fly around in my house. <laughs> <laughs> so I faced a really difficult time in class 11th and 12th. The concept of holidays nearly evaporated. I was going to school on weekdays and coachings on weekends. I was not able to find time for myself. But the fear of not getting admit cards and my school was quite adamant on attendance. So my loyalty shifted towards school more than my team, more than, more than coaching, which I realized was a disaster because I did neither good in school nor in coaching. Well, I know there are many of us present here who aspired to get one of the IITs, but then went into low reputed colleges like DTU, mainly <laughs> <laughs> DC because brand is important, and that too in Delhi Kota. Well, I'm the wrong person to say this because I need a get because I never got admission in DTU. <laughs> because I never got into DTU, I realized that I'm not made for engineering, <laughs> so I chose science instead. Science was a better alternative available to me, and 
I found it maybe I could excel in science. But then I again realized that engineering was there in my blood. So I decided that after I will graduate, I will do MBA. <laughs> so did I return so that I return to the same perpetual cycle of an engineer. <laughs> Thank you so much.